period like? You know, the players getting a little bit of a break to go back home. What's that kind of like in, you know, this, this season? A little bit of recharge with the players. Yeah, I think it was good. I think it was a perfect time. You know, they had four full days off, and, and when they came back, you know, you never know. I'm like, are they going to be, you know, really energized? Or are they going to be like, oh, we got to come back? And uh, that first practice, I mean, the, the energy, the, you know, how, how excited they were to be back. Um, was really great for me to see like okay we're we're ready to go so we've had two really good practices again great energy um, and one more day I probably lean into to Wisconsin tomorrow um, have you had Makaira fully back for you and, and what does that kind of do as a boost for the team with her back yeah she's fully back now so uh, it's been you know kind of just back to back to normal I mean this team we've kind of you know when she went out they just kept it like it was normal and now she's back and you know, we'll adjust accordingly, but it's good to be at full strength right now and, and have everyone healthy um, going into going into Big Ten. Do you anticipate keeping Jada as a starter? I mean, what's that kind of like, and, and what maybe has she given you the last couple of games here? Yeah, I mean, she's been great. You know, her and Jen's coming in and, and starting was, was great. And again, as you guys know, I've said it a lot. I really, it doesn't really matter. You know, who starts for us, we have multiple players that can. Um, so we'll have probably a different lineup tomorrow. I mean, Makaira, she'll be back starting, um, and it's just going to be who we, you know, who we want to come off the bench, who we want to be in there. So uh, we'll kind of figure that out. Is that between basically Jayla and, and Jada Peebles for that for that final? It's really, it's, it's really all, others? yeah, all three. You know, I, I think Jen, Jada, Jayla are all the three that you know, depending on matchups, depending on who we're playing, you know, what's the best lineup to go with. So. We'll, we'll make that decision and, and go with it. I don't think our, our players get too caught up in it. Uh, outside of unforeseen circumstances, do you have plans to try to expand rotation at all? Because obviously the rotation you've been using is working. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think what you've seen is, is what you're going to get for the most part. And then, you know, obviously with the post play is what uh, it's kind of, you know, we need Aisha to come along. We need her to, you know, get healthy and, and be able to play minutes, you know. We need Geo to be able to go in there and, and, and spot some minutes as well. So I think those two are the, the, the people that I'm looking for, you know, their growth and, and able to go in and be really solid, you know, to spot maybe KB some, some minutes so she's not playing 40 minutes a game. And then there's going to be some games that we need some height and, and we need that, that, that length. Like Aisha, you know, she presents that. So you've stayed, for the most part, out of foul trouble. Is that intentional in how you're defending and, and how you're strategizing? Uh, because with a short bench, that's key, right? Yeah, no, it's key, and it's nothing, you know, it's not like we're, we are doing our normal defense. I mean, we've always been really, you know, we talk and we stress discipline defense, defense with your feet, you know, keep your hands out, don't reach. You know, we teach it in the inside. We're always talking about walling up and, and not coming down. So. It, there's going to be a game though that that we get in foul <laughs> trouble and especially now that you said that you know it'll, it'll probably happen but yeah, yeah no it, it's not a, a conscious effort it's just our normal defense like play play discipline d defend without fouling it, you know we talk about that we stress it every day in practice but uh you, you know it's, it'll happen at some point and 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 i have faith that you know we're deep enough in terms of the rotations that that we can handle that what have you seen out of wisconsin on film yeah, I mean, yeah, every game's just so dangerous, and, and Wisconsin's dangerous because their ability to shoot the three, and you know their perimeter, their how they spread you, um, their system. You know, there it's a lot of screens, a lot of action, um, and again, just a threat from outside. And they have a really good freshman post play uh, player that you know she she's dangerous down there. So they present a lot of different problems. Uh, but luckily we've played some teams that, that fit the style that they play. You think Missouri, you think Butler, you know, with a lot of shooters, even Indiana to some regard, you know, a ton of shooters and a ton of screens off the ball um, that has hopefully got us prepared. You're gonna be going into some Big Ten games now where people are gonna look at this team and say they should win that game. Um, do those outside expectations seep into the inside here in, in terms of the, how the perception of the program's changing? No, I mean, I. You know, I we expect every single game we expect to win, and I think that's the mentality we brought here. Um, you know, I'm used to winning games; like I'm not used to <laughs> losing games, and and I don't plan on you know doing that here. I know we're gonna we're gonna lose some. I mean, this is a Big Ten. You, you're not gonna you know in the A10 we went 15 and one the last few years. Like I understand it's different, <laughs> um, but the expectation doesn't change. So we approach every single game the same, whether we're playing you know 
Iowa or Indiana, you know, top teams in the league or someone that people perceive we should beat. So right now our focus is on Wisconsin and, and about, you know, preparing today and then going one and zero tomorrow and, you know, let the other people say what they want to say. Uh, we just got to concentrate on winning games. Kendall was kind of even talking about just she felt like a, a you know flip was kind of at the beginning of the season playing Notre Dame that being you know mm -hmm. maybe a confidence booster for mm -hmm. the team going forward do you sense that that was you know even all the way back then what that did to, for your team um, to have the performance against them that you did you know I, I really do yeah, I think it kind of because you hadn't played anyone yet and even for me I was like okay like I believe in what we do I believe in these players I believe you know we're getting better but then you play someone, you know, like a Notre Dame in, in a scrimmage and, and play them like we played them. I think all of us are like, okay, like we can actually go out there and, and play against one of the better teams in the country and, and get it done. So I think that it helped everyone. I think it helped myself. I think it helped the players have confidence in, in again, what we're doing and then seeing the, the whole thing come together. So I, I, I do, I credit that, you know, scrimmage a lot um, to, to what we've been able to do. I don't know if you look at these things, um, you know, you're projected to be an NCAA tournament team. I know it's a while out, you know, but do you talk to your team about things like that? Because those sort of things can carry in about, you know, where you're at and, and do you, you talk about them about, you know, sort of managing things and not looking too far ahead? You know, it's, it's really our approach, right? Like even the years that, you know, our teams were supposed to win it and supposed to do this, like it's not, you have to stay in the moment. You have to stay in what can we do today you can't you gotta block out all the noise block out everything else because there are so many games left <laughs> i mean so many games left in in the big 10 like every game like you could lose every game you could win every game and and so you can't get too far ahead you can't get too far behind you have to stay present so those are the things we talk about um now i i did talk about even after the missouri game and i told them you know talked to them about net um, because a lot of these guys, you know, they, they don't even know what that means. <laughs> so I talked to them about that. I'm like, we're to the point now that I wasn't going to talk to them about that. I, they didn't need, they <laughs> did never needed to, I wasn't even thinking about that going into the season, you know, but those are things that, you know, a win on the road at a team, you know, like Missouri, that matters. And, and how you beat people matters. And the efficiency matters. So those are things I've mentioned to them now because I want them to understand. And I also think that we have, even though we're young and experienced, but we're old enough and mature enough to handle those things, because um, that stuff matters. I'm good. Thank you. Thank awesome. you guys.